Hey everybody and welcome back to Jack's World Wildlife and welcome back to Species Highlights. Now today we're going to be talking about one of the coolest insects we have ever had the pleasure of seeing in the wild, the Central American Hercules beetle or Dynastes septentrionalis. Now these are the longest uh, beetle species that you can find in Costa Rica. Uh, them and the elephant beetle, Megasoma elephas, are two massive beetles that you can find throughout Central America. Uh, now these beetles are super, super cool and super strong. Let's take a look at what these beetles do. Now Hercules beetles are incredibly strong. Uh, it's not at all uncommon for these beetles to be able to lift around 800 times their own body weight. To put that into perspective, that would be like me lifting a car. Uh, that is incredibly, incredibly uh, impressive. Now, sadly, uh, even though these animals are full of brute insect strength, uh, their adult lifespans are pretty short. Um, these animals live for about two years as larvae inside decaying wood or in soil, and then they will pupate and emerge as adults. Now, as adults, they have a very limited uh, time to reproduce, and that is their sole purpose as adults. So what they will do is the larger males uh, will fight with each other with these massive claws on the front, this giant pincer, this large horn on the front of their face around their nose area, if you could call a beetle uh, front of its face a nose. Um, and then they have this giant thoracic horn that's coming off of their middle segment um, that's stationary. So they can actually lift and and lower their head to actually open and close uh, that clamp. So essentially what they try and do is scoop up under each other and throw each other off of, of whatever surface that they're on. And so whichever beetle actually survives and, and defeats the rival male uh, will get to mate with a female. And then the female, once she's mated, will fly off, find a, a nice log, uh, probably a large decaying tree, she will claw her way into it, and then she will deposit her eggs, which will then hatch, and then the larvae will emerge. They will eat this rotting wood in this tree for two years, pupate, emerge again to start the process over. Now, beetles uh, go through what we call complete metamorphosis, which is metamorphosis with four stages, egg, larva, pupa, adult. Um, so they're part of a very large group of insects that does this. In fact, uh, most scholars agree that the order Coleoptera beetles is the largest uh, group of insects on the planet and therefore the largest group of animals on the planet. It's theorized that, that beetles have more species uh, than any other group of animal on the planet, which is ridiculously cool. Uh, these animals have been vastly successful in all sorts of environments. Um, once again, because of their their ability to kind of find and, and fall into these little niche uh, jobs and, and services in an ecosystem and, and to be quite successful. Now, Hercules beetles are primarily nocturnal, uh, which means during the day they kind of just hang out on trees, maybe underneath logs to kind of shelter from the elements, and then they come out at night. And they often use stars uh, to navigate, to find females, to find food. Uh, and so oftentimes you might see beetles flopping around in, in the parking lot of a, of a gas station or, or shopping center. And this is because artificial lights can confuse and disorient um, most species of beetles that are flying at night. Uh, so in Monteverde, at the Monteverde Butterfly Gardens, where I was an intern, uh, we, we had a 24-hour phone service uh, open to anyone who found, you know, stranded Hercules beetles. Uh, because of, of development and habitat fragmentation, um, these beetles are, are finding it harder and harder to kind of go from one place to another to breed because they get disoriented by, by lights in, in cities and towns and, and even rural areas. And so we would take them, breed them, and then be able to release those mated females into the wild so that they can continue uh, the species. Well, 
that's all we have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed learning a little bit about uh, the Central American Hercules beetle. They're one of my absolute favorite species of insects that I've found in the wild, and I hope now they're one of yours too. Uh, so remember, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Uh, turn on post notifications so you don't miss any more videos, and keep on watching. I appreciate you guys' support. Keep it coming.